There's no boat like this in the world. This thing is so uh, lightweight yet powerful. What we're really trying to do is learn how to sail it. It's a whole new territory for everybody on board. Copy that. We've got sensors all over the boat so we can tell if one hull's moving in relation to another. It gives us a whole, a whole new insight into uh, how the structure's performing. All of the measuring of the position of the boat, the actual uh, angle it's taken, the accelerations, what it's doing, all of that's a whole new game for us. Well, we've got a, uh, a whole new version of Oracle uh, database we're using. We've also got their uh, web interface so we can actually spread the data right around the whole team, whether they're here in San Diego or anywhere else in the world. We had to get a whole new machine. We went from a, a, a dual core machine to a 32 core machine. The database was so huge, it grows by sort of three or four gigabytes per day. lead on that block, is it okay or is it a bit uh, frictiony? Over. Sort of one of the main functions is the logging of the information so we have every single thing recorded. It's a big function of what we're doing plus keeping it served up to the guys on the boat and also onto our tender and technical platforms so we can actually monitor the data real time. Our server on, the, uh, on this, this boat here is collecting the data, archiving it. We're watching it come in live here. You can see a trace of um, a boat here and a theoretical boat where they're racing each other as if we had a second boat on the water. The first thing we have learned is that our original calculations for the structure of the boat were pretty good, so the guys now have the confidence to go and push the boat and, uh, you know, put it right up to the, to the limit, to the red line. Going uh, about 19 knots right now, sort of... Uh, Flipping along pretty fast, the breeze is slowly building, so we're getting uh, you know a lot of good data today from lighter winds first thing to uh, quite strong. We've been spoilt previously because with two boat testing, it takes a lot of the vagaries of the wind away from the problem, and also it keeps things very even. You have a really good baseline or reference or control boat to test against. Here we're doing it against the data. Pretty much every sensor that's connected to something that uh, might break or is a structural question or a loading question, we have a whole alarm system that actually uh, gives the guys a significant uh, wake up in case there's something that might be getting close to the red line to the breaking point. Can this winch take more load? Can we pump the hydraulics harder? The real uh, secret of the whole thing is that we handle a huge amount of data. We can crunch it down to one number, you know, was it better today or yesterday? But even more subtly, we can tell them exactly why and how. It's a whole new step for us. We've, uh, you know, improved sort of 15, 20% on the performance we were doing before. Now it's a big leap in how we actually uh, sail the thing. It's impressive.